If you are suffering from frequent and unrelenting heartburn, it is time to learn about what causes acid reflux. These symptoms affect over 40 million people, and many of them do not even know what acid reflux is. They confuse it with heartburn or an upset stomach. In this video, we are going to provide you with important information that will help you learn about what causes acid reflux, so you can begin taking steps to help you get relief. What causes acid reflux? 1. To help you understand what happens to your body when you have acid reflux, you must realize what the esophagus and lower esophageal sphincter less are and how they play an important role in your body. Here is a quick GERD overview to help you understand. Your esophagus is the tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. It is responsible for getting the food that you eat to your stomach. Acid reflux occurs when the acid from your stomach leaks into the esophagus. This acid will cause the pain and discomfort that is described as heartburn. As the acid continues to reflux, eventually the esophagus will begin to break down and the heartburn will worsen. Now the great news is that with the right amount of time if you can keep the acid from coming into contact with esophagus, it can repair itself naturally. The less or the lower esophageal sphincter is the muscle flap that separates the esophagus and the stomach. When you eat food the less allows it to go down into your stomach. As acid goes refluxes it weakens the less and it becomes weakened and cannot prevent the potent stomach acid from reaching the esophagus which causes you the pain and discomfort from heartburn. How to treat acid reflux. Since you can see this symptom has everything to do with your digestive system, if you can change your diet and begin eating foods that will not upset your stomach you should be halfway there. Foods play an important role in this illness, however if you have put on some extra weight as well this may be another reason why you are experiencing the symptoms. Avoid eating foods that are spicy, fatty, high in citrus and etc. If you are not sure which foods are affecting you, it is time you did some research to find out. You can easily do this by keeping a record of what you eat throughout the day, after doing this for a week you should know which foods to avoid. Another important thing to remember is to avoid eating large meals. You should instead eat more smaller meals so you will not overeat at one sitting. If you want to new easy throat exercises to defeat the most stubborn snoring and sleep apnea the very first night click on the link in the description. Subscribe to the channel to receive all new. Thank you for watching this video.